Hey, it's Brandon with Diamond J Customs, and in this video I wanted to show you how to install our disc brake conversion that comes with our new complete dual arm conversion kit for our 90cc quads. These kits are available at diamondjcustoms.com. I'll put a link right here and in the description of the video directly to the dual arm kits. Once you've taken off your stock A-arm components, put on our dual A-arm mounting brackets, the dual A-arms, you've attached the spindles, disc brake, and hub assembly. You're now ready to work on the disc brake component. So the first step when you look at the brake lever itself, there's gonna be this plastic wedge in here. What you're gonna need to do to remove that is get a good hold on your brake lever. Right there you saw it slip out. And here's that wedge that was right in there. The reason we want to take this wedge out is because now it uh, loosens up the brake calipers enough to where we can slide the plastic wedge that's in there. We'll leave those in for now just so our brake pads don't slide out. But once you've loosened up the whole assembly, the next thing you're going to want to do is loosen up and remove any plastics around the handlebars of your quad and really just anything that will allow you to feed the lever up through. And really, as you can see, removing and loosening these components makes it easier to work around this space of the quad. Once this is all loosened up, you can feed the stock brake lines up through and disconnect them at the stock brake lever. You really just need to unscrew the lever, um, make a few twists, and those will pop right out. You can set those aside. We won't be using those for the rest of the build. Now that the stock lever and lines are out of the way, we're now ready to feed your new brake lever through where the stock brake lines came out. On some quads, it can get tight. For the Raptor, it just barely fit through. But if you loosen everything up, you can get it through. Here are some pictures of us feeding our new brake lever up through just to show that it is possible. You just might have to work for it a little bit. And once this brake lever is up through, you can uh, mount it to the handlebar loosely if you want to, or just let it lay there. doesn't matter too much. We're going to move on to the brake calipers down lower on the quad and get everything assembled there. Now an important thing to note is before you mount your brake calipers, you do want to make sure you're feeding your brake lines the way you want them to sit. For us, we fed them behind our shocks and then kind of followed the top A-arm and came up in front of the hub assembly. This just gave us a good line so when we're steering the brake line isn't going to pull at all and we can zip tie them to that top A-arm if we want to. Once your brake lines are fed through how you want it, you're now going to slide the brake caliper onto your brake disc and as I showed you this plastic wedge is going to get pushed out by your new brake disc and the disc will go right between the brake pads. It should be nice and simple once the lever is loosened up. And now it's time to tighten these silver bolts that came with your kit. That will make sure the brake caliper is secured onto the whole assembly. And with that, you're about done with the whole mounting process. The only thing left to do is to finalize the mounting of your brake lever. It can be a little tricky on some models with the stock brake lever. On our Outlaw 110 and what we'll do with our Raptor 90, here's a picture. We actually had to cut off where the stock brake lines attach to the brake lever. That does interfere with the new brake lever if you want it to sit exactly how it does stock, which we did. So as you can see, we cut off that part of the stock brake lever, slid our new brake lever over that, and just tightened it how it is. And there you go. If you've been following along, you should be good to go with your disc brake conversion on our dual A-arm conversion kit. If you have any questions with the process, just leave them in the comments below. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. And if there's anything else you like videos on, drop that in the comments as well. See you in the next video.